Okay, so on loan repayments, we are looking at an example of um, calculating the outstanding balance on a loan. And those, though these questions are quite simple, they are quite time consuming and you'll see in a moment just why. Okay, so Danny took out a loan of 450000 from the bank. He's paying, um, he's paying it, sorry, that should be it. He's paying it back. He is paying it back over 35 years with payments monthly and the bank is charging him interest at 13.5% per annum compounded monthly. What is the balance on his loan now if he has made payments for 31 years? Okay, so again, let's do our timeline. Here we go from 0 to 35 years. Okay. So here we have the years in between and we are here somewhere at 31. Okay. And what's important is that we make monthly payments, okay, every year. So put in as many uh, as much information as you can on this timeline, 30.5% per annum, okay? Uh, do we know what his amount is that he's paying back? Let's see. Do we know no we don't know what the amount is that he is paying back. Okay, so if we look at our formula, Pn is equal to x1 minus 1 plus i to the power negative n over i. Okay, we can see here that we know what the original value is. But we want to use this formula, the same formula, to find out what will the value be here. Okay, what will this value be at right here? And to do that, we are first going to need to calculate x. So that's going to be our first step, calculating the monthly amount that he has paid back. Okay, so we know that he took out a loan of 450000 Okay, so the present value is 450,000. We don't know what his repayment amount is. We know that the interest that is charged is 13.5%. Okay, but that amount must still be divided with 12 because he's making monthly payments. Okay, very important. He is making payments monthly. So we know there's 12 months in a year, so he's getting interest not at 13.5%, but at that divided by 12. And also divided by 100 because we're working in a percent there. Okay, so how many payments is there going to be in the total 35 years? So right at the beginning here, we are owing 450,000 Rand, okay, with how many payments left? So that's the question we should ask ourselves. N represents how many payments are left. And that's 35 times 12. And that is what? 7 times 6 is 420 payments. So in 420 payments left. Now let's go and calculate. So we have 450,000 is equal to X is unknown. 1 minus 1 plus 13.5 over 1200 to the power of negative 420. All of that divided by 13.5 over 1200. Okay. So again, you know the drill already. I'm going to multiply with that and divide with this. So to save time, I'm just going to do that. Okay, so I have 450,000 divided, sorry, multiplied by the, the um, denominator, which is 13.5 divided by 1,200 and divided by that top bracket, which is 1 minus, and in brackets, 1 plus 13.5 divided by 1200. Okay, um, and that has an exponent of 420 with a negative. Close my top bracket and 
that gives me an answer of 5,109 Rand and 3 cents. There we go. Now that we have X, we can go reuse our formula, but this time we want to know what is the value after I've made already 31 years of payments. So there's still four years of payments left. And in every year I am making 12 payments. So there's still 48 payments left. So we are working out the present value. If 48 payments are left, we don't know what that value is. But we know what our recurring payment is this time. We are still paying the same amount. This is a constant amount. The interest hasn't changed. It still stays 13.5 over 1200. And neither has the number of time, uh, or this time actually, the number of payments that are left has changed. This is now four, sorry, 48. So what is the amount when 48 payments are still remaining? That's 5,190. Five one zero nine comma zero three times one minus one plus thirteen point five over twelve hundred, and this time we are taking it to the power of negative forty eight divided by. 13.5 over 1200 and now if we go calculate that is 5109.03 times in a bracket 1 minus another bracket 1 plus 13.5 divided by 1 two zero zero close the bracket to the power of the critical step 48 with a negative close that and divide with this bracket 1 3.5 divided by 1200 and that gives me an answer of there we go 188,698 is still remaining 188689 okay that's how much i'm still owing 188689 and 95 cents okay so of 450000 rand okay after paying for 30 one years you are still owing almost a hundred and ninety thousand rand okay so once again some advice stay away from debt